Hey guys, I'm Sam LG and welcome to today's video. Now, before I get started, I do want to mention that in about a week, I'm going to be heading to Atlanta, Georgia for Import Alliance. Uh, it's going to be a great event. I can't wait. I've never even actually been on the East Coast except for once in my life. So this is going to be a whole new experience and it's going to be fantastic. And uh, to go along with that, I'm going to be definitely having videos out for you guys. I might split up the two-day event into maybe two videos, maybe three. Uh, I don't know, it just depends on how much footage I get and how much is actually relevant to show. So, I don't know, we'll see about that. Uh, but definitely look for those videos coming up here re really soon. It's gonna be great, I, I'm so excited. But, um, with that said, let's jump into the topic of today's video, which is Tesla. Now, a lot of my friends out there, a lot of people who I just, you know, meet strolling through the mall, the employees at the te Tesla dealership, everybody says that Teslas are zero emissions. Now, what does that mean? It means that Tesla doesn't produce CO2. It doesn't burn fossil fuels. Now, while this is true in that the car itself doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean that what you put into the car doesn't come from burning fossil fuels. Here's what I mean. For a regular car, for example, my car, it uses gas to combust in the engine and produce uh, energy that makes the car move forward. In doing so, it produces CO2. And that goes for basically most cars on the road that are hybrid and gas powered. And the electric vehicles don't do that. The electric, uh, electric vehicles use batteries to move motors and there's no, no CO2 emissions involved with any of that. So yeah. In that aspect, the Tesla car is definitely zero emissions. But here's the question I'm posing out there for you guys. Where does that electricity to charge the car come from? Back in 2015, I know the statistic says that it 67% um, of the electricity for the entire United States uh, was produced from burning natural resources, so burning natural gas, burning coal, burning stuff to produce electricity. Now, in burning, doing that, you're burning fossil fuels, you're producing more CO2 that goes into the air. So, if you think of it from that perspective, in that you're charging your car, you're using electricity that came from being burned off to produce the electricity that's coming into your car. Physically, I could see that it's definitely not zero to or zero emissions, but if you think about it like indirectly, the car isn't necessarily zero emissions because the electricity that you get to um, power the car comes from burning natural resources. For the most part, I'm not saying that all electricity comes from that. I know the other 33% um, came from renewable resources, so that's hydroelectric power, wind power, ocean power, and all the other uh, different renewable ways to get energy. But that's not in every state. Now, I know in Oregon, Oregon wants to basically stop using or burning coal and natural gas to get their electricity. I know that sometime in the future they want to completely cut that out and get their electricity entirely from um, renewable sources, so wind, solar, hydroelectric, ocean, all that, all that stuff. And yeah, that's great, but again, what about the states that don't have that kind of stuff? They're still going to be burning coal because that's the most efficient and also cheapest. So, what about those states? I mean, if you live in a state like that and you're driving a Tesla, yeah, the car itself, again, is zero emissions, but you're charging it 
with electricity that, that most likely came from burning uh, coal or natural gas or something of the sort. So are you really driving a zero emissions car? I don't know, I'm gonna leave that one up to you guys to um, comment in the comment section what you guys think. Um, I think it's su super um, interesting to talk about because a lot of people talk about this whole zero emissions concept and yeah, while that's great, you're basically just deferring where you're burning fossil fuels. I mean, you're either gonna burn it at the power plant to charge your car or you're, you're gonna burn it while driving your car if you drive a com uh, car with a combustible uh, running engine. I don't know, this topic has really bugged me for a while and I've always wanted to make a video on this. So again, I'm gonna leave this out to you guys to pretty much just tell me what you guys think because it's really interesting and I definitely um, would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. So with that said, I'm gonna end today's video pretty much here. Um, if you guys like this kind of topic, if you guys like what I'm doing with these videos and you want to see more stuff like this, just let me know, again, in the comment section, and I will try to make it happen. But with that said, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like the video, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys with the next video. Anyway, peace out.